वेलकम अगेन टू एस पी रोटनेट कोर एम बी सी टूटोरियल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट व्यू डेटा नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वन मोर फॉर्म ऑफ व्यू डेटा एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट व्यू डेटा एट्रीब्यूट इन दिस वीडियो लेट स्टार्ट वी विल लर्न वट इज द यूज ऑफ व्यू डेटा एट्रीब्यूट हाउ टू वर्क विद व्यू डेटा एट्रीब्यूट एंड सेवरल अदर थिंग्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू लर्न अबाउट व्यू डेटा एट्रीब्यूट वी विल लर्न इन दिस वीडियो before learning about view data attribute first let's focus what is the difference in between view data and view data attribute both of these view data and view data attribute are used to pass the data from controller action method to the view we can also use this technique to pass data directly from controller's action method to the layout file from the functionality point of view there is no difference in between view data and view data attribute but there is a slight difference in their use so let's learn how to use view data attribute in this video let's open the visual studio here we are in our bookstore application inside this application we have to use view data attribute now let's open any controller suppose i want to implement some logic about view data attribute on my home controller since we are using a new name which is attribute along with view data and if you have some little bit knowledge about attributes then attributes are used above a property a method or a class so if we are talking about view data attribute it means we are going to use this view data on a particular property here at this place let's create a new view data property as we were creating into the previous video so we can use view data and here i can simply pass suppose my custom property so this is how we were creating the view data property into the previous video and on the right side we were assigning some value to it suppose here i am writing custom value this was the traditional way but here we have to use view data attribute so we can create a new property with this same name let's create a new property with this name depending on the data we can choose the type of this property suppose the data is in form of a string so we can use a string over here as the type of this property now we do not have to write this view data over here we can simply use this custom property to assign this value by this time this is a very simple c sharp property but we have to decorate it with the view data attribute let's do that so on top of this property we have to use square bracket and inside this square bracket we have to use view data if you will use view data over here on this property then this property will be treated as a property of view data let's see the details of this view data right click on this one and choose go to definition at this place you can see we already have a new view data attribute class and it is inherited from attribute that is why we are able to use it on the property and focus on the namespace of this view data attribute it is microsoft.espnetcore.mvc so both of them are different view data and view data attribute both of them are different but the main purpose of using them is same okay now i have to display this value on to the view file so let's copy this one go to the view file at this place suppose i want to display my value over here in this h1 tag while displaying your value the concept will be same so at this place you have to use view data and then custom property let's build the solution and run it build is successful let's press control f5 to run this application this time you can see we are getting this custom value from our controller and we are getting this by using view data attribute now let's learn how can we set the title property inside the layout directly from the controller since at this point we are setting this value from each individual pages so for example if i need to set the title property for this index page then i have written the code over here inside this index.cs html file similarly if i need to set the value for this contact us page then i have written the code over here inside this contact us file now let's try to display this value directly from controller so that 
you do not have to write it from here so i can simply comment this code and focus on the property that we are using for the title the name of the title property is title so i will be using this title property to display the title on the particular page so let's go to the home controller let's get one more property let's give it a name the name is title and now let's decorate it with the view data attribute let's set the value of this title over here inside this index xm method title home page suppose i'm writing from controller just to identify it i'm writing the title property like this home page from controller okay and focus i have already commented the code on this index.cshtml file but still we are using this title property onto our layout file here you can see onto the layout file that we are using this title property to set the title of our application dynamically we have set the value from the controller and now let's build this solution go back to the browser and focus on the title and refresh this page this time you can see we have home now if i will refresh this page then you can see we got an updated title over here and it is home page from controller so by using this technique you can directly set your title from controller there is no need to set that data into your view file you can directly do it from your controller file you can do similar operations in all the controller to set it so suppose if you want to set it for the about us then you can use this similar property and you can set the value for about us over here let's write this one as well if i copy it and paste it over here so here i can write about let's build this solution go back to the browser and refresh the page let's click on this about us page this time you can see we are not getting the updated value why because we have not removed the code from this about us dot cshtml we are still using this property over here so in case you need to override that property that you are setting inside your controller then you can override it over here inside your cshtml file if you will comment out this code or you will remove this property let's try this example now this time you can see that we are getting the value on to the title and it is coming directly from the controllers action method in previous video while we were using view data then at that time we were passing some complex data as well so by using this view data attribute you can also pass the complex data let's see how to do that so let's create a new property let's set the type suppose i'm using book model let's set it book let's use all the namespace let's decorate it with view data attribute and here in any action method we can set the value of this book property book is equals to new book let's set few properties suppose id is equals to 1 and the title is equals to suppose asp dot net core tutorial now we have to use this property onto our view file let's go to the index view and just like we were doing with the traditional view data we have to cut this value to its type so for that let's create a new block where suppose here i'm writing book is equals to so i can write view data let's set the property over here and let's let's cast it to the book model now we can get all the data from this book variable suppose i want to display the value over here h1 suppose id is equals to at the rate book dot id now let's set the title property as well so instead of using this id now i will be using title okay we are done with the changes let's build the solution go back to the browser refresh this page go to the home page and this time you can see we are getting id is equals to 1 which is correct and title is equals to esp.net core tutorial which is also correct so it means by using this view data attribute as well you can pass your data directly from your controller to the view or directly from controllers to the layout file as well 
That is all in this video. Now I believe you must have a very clear understanding about view data and view data attribute. Please tell me your feedback into the comment section. Please like this video, share this video and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.